appear to be. Maybe I'll make an update when one of those voice actors gets exposed for pedophilia. Ладно, тебе все понятно. Hey guys, and welcome to my first commentary slash rant slash whatever the flip you want to call it. I know, I know, this audio sounds like a wet fart, but trust me, my audio will sound better over time. Now then, let's take care of this. My first rant was going to be about the versus battles tiering system, but I was decided to start on this for obvious reasons. Very well, let's start. Murder Grounds Okay, before I go go pointing out the flaws in this guy's argument, let me give you my one and only problem about murder drones. Death is treated like way too lightly. Like, come on, Doll is one of the victims in the series, and Uzi is not practically within at this point. I'll go into this in another video if I'll ever do, but that's my only problem. All right, let's get started with the video. Classic toxic masculinity, Chad. That's never gonna end a problem. Okay, Ta okay, okay, we've just started the video, and I I'm genuinely confused. What do you mean by woke moment? Woke moment, what? Are you saying that, are you suggesting that Sad is being gay? Like, do you really have to point that out? I mean, I don't even think that's how it is. You know how teenagers are these days, spewing out fake insults at each other, come on. Chad. That's never gonna end up problematic. Let's be honest, the humor isn't good at all. Uh -huh. I'm an angsty teen fad, bite me. I will say it's a step up from watching short-term gotcha, life-relatable videos, so you got that. Good on you. The animation itself looks worse than XRA. I'm not saying XRA is a bad show per se, I actually like the show, but it's poorly animated on purpose. You didn't have to cut me off. Like that. I don't know what XRA is. But I'm sure as hell that Murder Drones looks nothing like this crappy piece of animation. You think this contrast actually looks valid? Are you just... Ugh, no. Also, the examples you're using from the... Are you... You're using them from the pilot episode. Do you realize what a small sample size that is? Of course the animation is of the first episode is going to be kind of unpolished. But you're saying that the entire series is like that without showing the rest of the series? And before you say something like, I'm not gonna waste my time pointing out the obvious, no, I'm not falling for that. You're either just lazy, or you can tell that the contrast is so over the top in the other episodes that you know that everybody will notice. But you can tell they're trying to make an effort, and still comes out like Wouldn't expect less from the same people who moved Ragdolls up and down on a screen for over a century, so I ain't mad, but surely is disappointing. What? Over a century? You need a serious recheck on your vocabulary, pal. What do you mean, what you meant to say was a decade? Also, you say SMG4 is putting effort and then it's then turn around and say it looks like crap? For the record, that was the lamest heel face turn in history. You need a prescription on your lenses, pal. Can you not see a difference between SMG4's crappy animation comedy and Murder Drone's high quality SFX? Come on, dude, open your eyes for once. Surely is disappointing. Now we must talk about the characters. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. So that's all you have to say about the series as a whole? Dude, that was the lamest argument you, you could make in the history of Exposers. Get good! 
Firstly, Uzi. What the hell kind of name is Uzi? I don't understand why you would name the main character after an Israeli 9mm submachine gun created by Uzi Gal in 1948 during the Arab Israel War. What the hell kind of name is Uzi? What the flip kind of name is Olive Lolf? Forget the first part, at least it sounds decent, but Lolf? I don't see anything wrong being called a. Wait a second. You just mentioned the fact that Uzi was an actual name. Also, might I point out that the opinion on names is subjective? Also, I noticed that a little that little tongue trip you had there. Bro, you can't even pronounce submachine gun correctly. Oh, I get it. You're shooting your mouth off so fast that you can't, your brain can't even keep up on what you're saying. No wonder you're using such lame arguments. You're bringing this all up by the seat of your pants. And that other character, N. He is pretty much one of those relatable, awkward, quirky character sticks that you see in most modern day television. Wow! Stick? Stick? I'm sorry, you don't like the relatable, stupid character trope? Just because a character is using a typical set of character traits doesn't mean it's automatically bad. Like, come on! The point of using a character set is to is so that the director can have his own spin on it. It's like saying Superman is a bad character because he uses the conventional hero type you usually see in actual wholesome medium back in the day. And I also noticed how Anne looks like a yellow Nazi. He's even got the barrette and the thingy on the shoulder. Ad hominem. <clears throat> Marked by or being an attack on an opponent's character, rather than by an answer to the contentions made. Okay? I want a counter to how many times this guy does this fallacy. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm not even going to waste my time pointing it out every single time. Also, it's called an armband. An armband. You can't even get that right. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked. When you're unwanted, streets are uneven when you're down. I get it. I get it. You don't like polygamy. I don't either. But of course the deranged nut jobs of the internet would do what is called fan art. When you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange. When you're strange, when you're strange. To put it blunt, it's obviously gonna be bad, but it's not gonna stop me from making fun of them. The amount of ignorance seeping out of this guy's mouth is so unbelievably unfunny. I, I have no words. It's a fandom. A fandom. Fandoms are pretty much cults. You realize that, right? Right? Of course some horrific stuff is going to be spit out of the Sarlacc pit. What makes you think a fandom will be different? Do you not know the general... Sorry, general reputation the average fandom has? And you're just going to say that the franchise they, that they base it off of sucks because of it. That, that, that's just absolutely cringe reasoning. Firstly, you gotta have those pricks over there making those godly, unfunny meme completions of various videos they ripped off TikTok. We'll be falling in love, uh, 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 California girls were unforgettable. Do you see me? First off, stop using language in your videos when it's absolutely unnecessary. Second of all, as my friend said in his own video, is this supposed to be funny? It's meant to be entertaining. If you think this is bad, you've set the bar way too high, Alves. Come on. 
Have you seen the real, godly, unfunny TikTok memes that spew out of internet gulag outside of China these days? This is actually half decent and wholesome compared to 90% of the filth which comes out of TikTok these days. Then you gotta have that skank who uploads these voice acting videos where he, uh... I'll just let it explain itself. Welcome to the Worker yeah, Drones uh, Cat Cafe! Oh, yeah, gr okay, okay. What would you like to- Okay, granted, out of context, this is absolutely disgusting. I think I've seen this guy before, but you're seriously gonna spit out derogatory alphabet soup at the series as a whole just because certain aspects of the fandom sucks. Then go to the Sonic or Undertale fandom. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Don't deny it. Have you seen the ambiguous nature of those two communities? And you think this is bad? Get real! Order, Master! A cat cafe themed cafe whose attractions are little cats. This cunt honestly deserves his own video. Then you got people like this. De degenerates like you belong on a cross. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What's wrong with proving the age of a certain character in fiction? Forget Smash or Pass, I get that. But considering the fact that relationships are so touchy these days, especially when it comes to underage, that it's an actually important aspect. In fact, you're, I believe they're doing the exact same thing you're doing in preventing pedophilia, except without the superior, superiority complex problem you have. As well as other slop you'll see the iPad babies he's consuming. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Okay, to go off track a little bit, I noticed that you really go after the gacha community, which I get. A lot of it is cringe, but there are really good gacha tubers out there who make high quality gacha content, like, say, Gentem. So, can you please stop spitting insults at communities just because one part of it is bad? One thing I find really funny is how a lot of these reaction YouTube channels made videos on on uh, murder drones and it, just the faces they make in their thumbnails are just is just so funny uh newsflash you just discovered the nature of every single reaction video in existence nothing much else to note maybe i'll make an update when one of those voice actors gets exposed for pedophilia oh ew dude what the Okay, now you're just slandering Glitch at this point. Do you realize the amount of care and work these actors put in these shows, and you're just straight up suggesting that these people to be pedos? I can tell, you're not just saying, uh, until next time. You're actually hoping that somebody in this show gets into some drama? Do you realize what you're implying here? That is the equivalent of saying that these people are, people are no longer human. Using petty arguments is one thing, spreading suggestions about things where it is completely irrelevant is another. Sorry I did not work on this video earlier. I was procrastinating. And my computer broke. Overall, Murder Drone seems like a quick cash grab from SMG4. Quick? Cash grab? You're joking, right? Because if you are, I'm not laughing. You're calling a high quality indie animation with actually cool animation and with effort put into a, the story a quick cash grab? Are you listening to yourself right now? That's all. <sighs> okay. So, a summary for this video for your arguments. You literally just attack the look of the animations, choosing the quote-unquote lowest, if you could call it lowest, quality you could find, completing, completely ignoring the peak battle scenes, the story slash plot, and the lore. You straight up found the most 
petty things you could find and start slandering the entire series. For example, you slandered the name Uzi, called in a Nazi simply because of his uniform, which is kind of discrim discriminatory, called the animation crappy using, again, the worst possible examples. You usually, you literally used two to three scenes, which didn't help your case in the slightest bit. Called out the fandom, despite the reputation you should know of, but don't for some reason. All in all, you're using the most petty arguments you could find, all of which have little to no validity. It seems like you just made this video just to bash the community and connect it to the actual series. You spent like one minute on the animation and characters and then wasted, wasted the rest of the video on making the fandom look bad. Listen. I respect the fact that you're trying to spread awareness about those who are actually are in some drama. But the arguments you make in this video are all biased, petty, and don't even make a point. You need to take a lot you need to take a course in logic, pal. You don't even deserve to be called an exposer after this video. Also, I noticed that you said in one of your videos that that actually had a point. You said your your opinion was right. Dude, you need a serious ego check. I don't care how right you are in a certain topic. You can't go off shooting your mouth spewing brags about how your opinion is the only valid opinion. I don't need to give you a definition of opinion. Oh, oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. Since you all you spoke was gibberish and child speak in this video about you complaining about only about the bad aspects of the show, I guess you do need to take another course on first grade grammar and move, move on from there. Usually, I wouldn't be wasting my time with petty haters like you, but the amount of support... Let me look at this. See, look at this. You are getting is absolutely atrocious. You are essentially spreading... I can't believe I'm saying this. Misinformation. You realize that you can lead some new e idiots who can eat any words anybody says like candy. And if they see this video first, they'll probably go, Well, I guess I shouldn't see it. Meaning that they will never see the best indie animation to ever grace the face of this internet. So here I am. Now then, I hope you've seen this video a wiser man. See you and have a nice life. Live it well. And please, fix that ego, ego of yours. It's way too big. Your head is absolutely too big for its own good. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Nobody has for your opinion. Whee!